And coming up next, a matchup at 205 pounds between Sugar Rashad Evans and Tito Ortiz. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, ground and pound is a true art form. And whether you're talking about Khabib Nurmagomedov, Jack Hermanson, or this guy, they've all taken it to the next level over the last several years. Yes, it's unbelievable to watch them take control and find opportunities to land ground strikes. Now, what they do so well is he does not waste punches. He usually will find one good shot and take it. He does not try to just go punch, 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 punch for the sake of punching. He finds position, he finds posture, he brings his hands inside, and then he comes over the top with elbows, or he lands these big right hands that makes his opponents pull it up, and then he goes to the next position, whether it's be sufficient or continuing to ground and pound his opponent into the bottom of the eye. And of course, it all starts with maintaining top position, which he does as well as anyone in the game. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA, Tito Ortiz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 24 wins, 8 losses, and one draw. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Sugar Rashad Evans! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Sugar Rashad Evans set to take the center of the octagon here. His last first round finish against Chael Sonnen, UFC 167 in 2013. We'll see if he can add to that total tonight and get off to a good start here in what is another high profile spot for the former champ. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? The center line slips the punch. Whoa! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. Nice double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Tito. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Solid strike on the ground. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We send it inside now to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has got stopped stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 56 seconds in the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Sugar! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.